political affairs committee including the chief minister just concluded a meeting a very crucial meet here at the state banquet hall in kohima now after the meeting the minister of power uh, kg kenye had a press briefing at the same venue where he highlighted and uh, gave a gist of what happened earlier at the meeting now one of the most important crucial talks also took place here today that is the naga political issue where they had spoken and discussed extensively he said that the political affairs committee has to have a new approach now and they cannot wait any longer so their approach is going to change now on how to tackle the naga political issue let's have a look at what he had to say today the political affairs committee after its formation in this tenure of our governor, it was constituted in November last year. And after quite a long time, today we have convened a meeting to take up the issue of the Naga political dialogues. And uh, also the ENPO issue in the later half of the day. So, unlike the other years, this time PAC has also roped in all the political parties in the state who have elected representatives in the state assembly and in the parliament also. So we have all together nine political parties who are in the PDA, in the government, uh, encompassing 60 MLAs of the state, representing eight political parties and the independent group, which makes us a total of nine groups but after the last parliamentary election, the Congress, who elected their representative to the parliament, now has become a part of the PSC, as well as the political consultative committee members. So with this representatives from the political parties also it is be, it is uh, being held for the first time because we want a cross section of views and opinions representing our people in the state we had a healthy discussion we were also joined by our two honorable mps from the Raja Sabha and from the Lok Sabha. And uh, all have made very good inputs on how to go about again, start again, to pick up the trails from where the last PSE had left us in the previous government. So this time around, the members felt that uh, our approach should change a little bit towards trying to resolve our political issue. All these years, as you have seen, priority has been given to the negotiating parties, which is the Naga National Political Groups. And countless times, the State Political Affairs Committee have engaged in the similar dialogues and discussions with almost every group that existed before, until now, with this request, appeal asking them to come together as one single entity while they represent our people in the talks with the government of India. But unfortunately, 
despite so much appeal from our people, they don't seem to be able to come together and uh, see eye to eye on their differences and also not able to sink their differences but uh, continue to maintain separate separate uh, identities among themselves. And uh, we have also had, had two major agreements with the government of India, the framework agreement and the uh, agreed position, which we all know of. But there are certain areas of the framework agreement which has not been diverged and has not uh, come into the public domain so far. Whereas the agreed position has been uh, brought to the public domain through the press, all of you, and also by circulation of their documents to the individuals. So with this parallel stand that they are maintaining, we thought it is detrimental to the peace negotiations they have with the government of India. Maybe this could be the reason for the delay in our talks also. Therefore, the PAC this time, after today's meeting, feels that uh, we should approach the people's organizations which exist, the civil society organizations and the tribal organizations, the apex naga bodies who represent the voice of the people also, and uh, inquire into their stand their views, their opinions as to how to go about in trying to resolve this elusive issue that has been confronting us for several decades. So the meeting had discussed at length and uh, we share a common concern and reach the consensus that uh, we should not lose time in trying to reach out to our people, that is the public, the Naga public, and uh, try and seek their views on this matter and as to how to go about it. So, our Chief Minister had made a very good presentation into the entire history that has transpired from the beginning of the talks till today. And uh, we have taken stock of the major events that has unfolded through these ages. So here we are, after having a very successful, satisfactory discussion, we shall embark on our next move after carefully planning out our roadmap as to how to go about it. Despite other business of the government, unless it is so uh, necessary, the government will give top priority to this area in trying to reach out to mobilize a meeting with our other CSO, civil societies, at the end. See, like I have said in the beginning, that was the trend with all the PSCs earlier. They have engaged, thoroughly engaged over the years. And I think uh, considerable time has been devoted in that area. But the outcome uh, is not satisfactory by which I mean to say that they are not coming closer 
collaborating with each other. Whereas the appeal of the people is a single entity. Sing their differences, come together, be one group only while representing our people's political issue with GOI. And have only one, with one approach, have only one arrangement so that uh, that will give the government of India also an easier way to take a decision without having multiple demands from our side being placed there. That is what they were actually uh, working for. But it has evoked no response in that area and in that direction. So now it is going to be the other way. If it is okay by the people, it's fine with us. After all, the main stakeholders and the purpose for all these talks are for the interest of the people. So if the people are not okay, then what do they say? What their suggestions are also? We have to elicit the opinion of the public, the mass. And that is where we're trying to uh, make it our approach towards this time. The purpose of uh, coming together, cutting across political party colors in the house, the 60 members' intention is to give an impetus and to strengthen the hands of the government of the day, the leadership of the day, so that uh, we'll be able to uh, expediently resolve our differences, whatever is pending in front of us. So the earlier governments had also had opposition in ESCO with all 60 members coming together. But uh, we thought they could not make further headway because of what I just explained, that they are not yielding to our appeal. So if the groups remain rigid like this, then the, unless we adopt a different approach, we will also meet the same fate and it will be a waste of time. So we thought maybe then we will seek the opinion of the people first and see how they respond, elicit their opinions on this particular issue and the way forward, the best way forward according to them. That is where we are. With the best of intentions, the House used to adopt a resolution. But have we not had enough? Do we not have enough of resolutions? You know, what we need is action. So we thought it is not too necessary just now to pass a resolution in haste without first seeking the opinion of the people if we take such a step, decide and pass a resolution on our own, and the people refuse to accept it tomorrow, that would be a serious backlash, that accident we don't want to make. So we're going slow. Tomorrow, the list of business is out probably. Yeah, we have uh, matter of urgent public importance for the Naga political issue. The stocks, again, where members are expected to share their minds, speak out their minds. And uh, the other is the repeal of the communitization of power electricity as a matter of urgent public importance, this also. So besides other issues, these two will be uh, some, something to be focused on. We were told today that uh, there are 26 groups already. 26 groups, yeah. Uh, it is continuing to multiply. 
which is really very unfortunate. But among them, those who are in ceasefire with the government of India are only five. Five, sorry. Uh, I have forgotten the names, but uh, five groups of. So, for us, it is the same because all of them represent our spiritual. So, as long as the people have their support for their movements, then the government has to take on cognizance of that. So, the state as such, which does not play a role and is not a party to the negotiation, I must admit, is quite at a loss why the government of India is uh, recognizing so many groups repeatedly, which we are not very comfortable. We, in fact, uh, have already mentioned uh, our anguish that this habit of recognizing new groups should stop. They should stop. And that is exactly what the PSC has been trying to tell our national workers. To seek their differences. Stop uh, forming new groups. And even among the existing groups, come together collaborate and become a single entity. That is our appeal to our MPGs. So to the government of India, we have made it very clear that uh, it is not going down well with the government and our people. As I was saying, as early as possible, because this is a pressing need, and uh, we would not like to deliberately keep on pandering or delaying this. But uh, the PSC will meet again, take stock of today's meeting, and uh, we will inform at the earliest our next step. Next step.